2017, Congressman Matt Gates forms a close friendship with future convicted sex trafficker, Joel Greenberg. Matt Gates is going to the White House and Joel Greenberg is going with him. Gates allegedly grooms Greenberg for higher political office and makes payments to him. Greenberg reportedly uses a sugar daddy app to find college girls and pays for sex on Congressman Gates's behalf. That's a close friendship with the real Matt Gates. Florida Patriots Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. Yeah, they are, and they're running that right there. It's intended to remind people of the, as they repeatedly in the ad, uh, term it a close friendship between Matt Gates and Joel Greenberg, who has pleaded guilty to sex trafficking charges, only to then cooperate in a federal probe revealing that Gates was also involved in sex trafficking. We're still waiting for developments and all of that, but in advance of those developments, they're putting out an ad with the, the flashing neon sex. Uh, it's dramatic, it's a spicy and provocative ad. Um, so apparently, according to Punchbowl News, it is the Florida Patriots pack, but there isn't a lot of information about who that actually is. Like who is raising the money, who is spending, who, who is it that is doing this? But Gates did vote against former speaker Kevin McCarthy and they have since, they've been feuding ever since by the way. And Kevin McCarthy has been very aggressive in going after uh, Matt Gates. He has used super PACs to go after other rivals, including Bob Good, the House Freedom Caucus chair. And so it wouldn't be impossible or inconceivable for it to be him. Now, the Florida Patriots PAC is attacking Matt Gates, is also boosting his GOP primary challenger, Aaron Dimmick, a naval aviator. Florida is going to be holding its primaries on August 20th. I find it very hard to imagine that he loses that. I think it's going to take more than ads like this, but. But that friendship is super suspicious. It is theoretically damning. And while we never may never find out exactly what happened between them and all that, it it doesn't leave you thinking he's awesome. It doesn't leave you thinking necessarily that he's a great guy. And so I think it's fair to point it out. But what do you think? Well, I'm a patriot, and patriots seem to be against Matt Gates. Sorry. So it makes sense to me that as a patriot, the patriotic thing to do is to vote against Matt Gates. My favorite part about that ad is that the voiceover is the guy from Naked and Afraid. So I'm waiting him to, for him to be like, and Matt Gates's primitive survival rating is a 4.2. Uh, Matt Gates will be naked, and his survival item is, you know, his Zell app, so he can pay for sex. Will he make it to 21 <laughs> days? It's amazing. Like, is that actually the same voice? It's the exact same voice. I did not from know that. The naked and afraid voiceover. It makes me so happy. Matt Gates will be lost. He will be locked up alone <laughs> with one other person. They'll be naked in a Boca Raton motor in. She's 16. Oh my God. Like, that is all I want. And I want to scrumptiously eat it up. But yeah, I, I mean, whether it's like, the Lincoln Republican, the Lincoln Project, or Kevin McCarthy, or some Democrats. I just love anytime people say patriots of, of America support this ad, really exposing how terrifying the dark money process is for ad spend, political politician buying in America. Yeah. I look, the, the feud just keeps going on. And I, I feel like I've said this a thousand times. Could we just find out some of the actual facts? That's all I want. I'm, I'm no longer interested in what Kevin McCarthy thinks about it. And I'm no longer interested in Matt Gates saying that nothing happened. I just want to know what the actual state of the evidence is. And unfortunately, we, it doesn't seem like we're ever going to. Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the join button to become a member today.